The majority of what I make is just to delight the senses, to bring joy to somebody's life so that every time they go out into their garden or into the room where they've got a piece of my artwork, it'll make them smile. Because without humor, life is pretty pitiful. Sandy Baker may not be faster than a speeding bullet or able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, but this metal artisan from Green Acres, Washington, possesses superhuman powers of creativity. Armed with tools that can bend steel in ways that would make Superman blush, Sandy creates whimsical works of art for the home and garden. Her superhero sounding business is called Sister Steel. I thought of a lot of different names and uh, Sister Steel made me feel like a rock star, so I thought oh, that's the one I wanted. I'm a self-taught welder. Welding in itself gives me a great deal of satisfaction because steel, it's such a cold, unyielding medium, and yet I can take it, manipulate it, cut it, chop it, grind it, and weld it into something with personality, character, and warmth. I kind of like the idea that, that I can beat steel. It's kind of a power thing. And it's that you can make something that started out kind of beat up and ugly, and you can make it pretty, or you can make it interesting. With a degree in graphic design and a work history in the visual arts, Sandy strives to add a bit of life and charm to her steel-hearted subjects. I like to make things that move, so kinetic type things of weather vane styles, or have some sort of like little birds that'll move around. When they come to life, it, it brings me a lot of joy because there they are. From the time I was a child, I needed to find ways to entertain myself. So I would just take odds and ends and put something together and that would be my toy or whatever it would be to keep me busy for a while. I was born and raised in the Spokane Valley, so I'm a valley girl, and um, grew up here in the Northwest you know, the Spokane area. I moved away a few times and just kept coming back. You know, this is home. I'm an outdoor enthusiast. I fish and like to camp, and this is the place to do it. Sandy's artwork is mostly made from repurposed and recycled materials that she finds at yard and estate sales and salvage yards. It's her way of being green, while at the same time being tickled pink. I do try to concentrate on using salvage materials as much as possible. That's kind of the eco-friendly thing. And I feel as though it's more of a challenge, and that's what makes it fun for me. It's like a puzzle. You know, take a bunch of different odds and ends and cut them up and rearrange them and make something out of them. From a strutting tom turkey to scat the steel dung beetle, you just never know what Sandy will create next. And since her art is made by hand with salvage, no two are ever exactly alike. Sort of like snowflakes and superheroes. Two of the most popular things I've made are my little horseshoe crab. He's unique because he is made out of a horseshoe, therefore a horseshoe crab. And my furled frond fern, and it's made with some rod and chainsaw link. One of my favorite items is the Go Girls. They are made out of 12 inch pipe cut in strips for the wheels. There's rod, there's bicycle chain, and they have their own little personality. She's kind of blown off her seat, hanging on for dear life, and she's usually got some sort of a little animal with her. Uh, another one is Weber, the Venus flytrap, and he's made out of a Weber barbecue and a spade for a tongue and some rebar and brake drum. Another one is an alligator, made strictly out of sharp things. He's got sharp nail teeth, it's made out of saw blades, and uh, pointy screws for little toes. And I'm making gargoyles now for roof downspouts, so that's kind of fun. If finding joy at work is the name of the game, then Sandy Baker really knows how to play. As the Metal Maven Sister Steel, she'll keep striving for smiles, delight, and whimsical artworks for all. And while she may not have x-ray vision, Sandy can clearly see the silly side of steel. 
I think it's the humor that's there. They, they see something quaint or humorous about it. It makes them smile. And that's kind of a big deal to people, especially when life is always so hectic that it's just nice to be able to just pause and look at something that makes them smile. To me, working with steel, working with art in general, is happiness. It's my journey. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.